Hello, hello. I have no idea where this is coming from. Um, kind of like the Kylie Rodney reading I just did. I have never really, and this is like no offense, um, I just have never had interest in really knowing anything about Marilyn Monroe. Um, but I am feeling like I'm supposed to do this. Don't know why. Um, but it's like a nagging thought that won't stop. So I have the Wikipedia article of the death of Marilyn Monroe up because I know nothing about it. Um, the intention here is to help. Um, shine light on the situation. So that's what we're gonna do. Please remember this is an energy reading. It is all alleged. My opinion, not fact. My opinion. Alright. Hi Marilyn. Mm. Somebody played God. Mm-hmm. So she died at 36 of a barbiturate overdose, which is um, excessive doses lead to difficulty thinking, poor coordination, decreased level of consciousness, and a decreased effort to breathe. Um, you did not take those yourself. Mm -hmm. Correct. Fired. Um, someone who needed to shut you up. Yes, dating. Um, you had your hands on something that you weren't supposed to know. Body double deep fake. Her body was discovered before dawn the following morning on the 5th. One of the most popular Hollywood stars had grossed 200 million by the time of her death. I'm hearing Britney Spears. Mm-hmm, strangulation, they were trying to shut you up. Um. suffered mental illness and substance abuse had, and had not completed a film since The Misfits. The Misfits. Commercial feature at the time of its initial release but received critical, what is it about? Um, in Reno, Nevada, Someone files for a six week residency divorce from her inattentive husband, Raymond. Oh, you discovered someone was your handler. Mm-hmm, got ya. Um, justice, yes. Takes her to a cocktail lounge at Harris for drinks. How you died is them mocking you because of what you found out. Yes, because it's what she struggled with. One day, Gaylord tells Rosalind how he wishes he was more of a father to his children whom he had not seen for years. You also discovered that your family was in on it, didn't you? Yes, abuse, neglect. Which leads me to this. Um, mental health. Mind control. Yes, revenge with the eyes and the dark, everything else, but the eyes is dark. It's like the opposite of the vision of mind control. Um,
She spent time preoccupied with various health problems and in 1962 had began filming Something's Got to Give, but the studio fired her in early June. Oh, it was all, once you found something out, the rest was a setup to make your mental health decline so they could do this. Yes, collapse, got it. Thank you. Um, okay, well, what something's got to give about? A photographer and mother of two small children. Oh. Has been declared legally dead, having been lost at sea in the Pacific. Her husband, Nick, remarried and his new wife, Bianca, are on their honeymoon when Ellen, rescued from an island, did you find out something about E or J.E.'s island before it was J.E.'s island? Man-made disaster. Um, while on their honeymoon, rescued from an island where she has been stranded for five years, returned home. That's why you said Britney Spears. Um... Makes an effort to keep the truth from his new wife, all the while trying to quash her amorous advances. Oh, the whole film was mocking you. Gotcha, because of what you knew. Upon learning that Ellen was marooned on an island with a man, Stephen Burkett, whom she knew as Adam to her Eve, he becomes jealous and suspicious of her fidelity. To calm her fears, Ellen enlists a meek shoe salesman to impersonate her island companion. Um, yes, yeah, she knew something big, but she was too big and they couldn't kill her off. So they had to ruin her reputation and have her do it to herself. Oh, market manipulation. Manipulation exposed. Is that what that means? Ooh, yes. The whole operation exposed. Oh. She could have exposed the whole operation. Mm hmm. Caregiver in reverse. the whole operation of, of mind control. Weird science. Yes. Um, <laughs> what else do you want us to know about it? Um, we could never know because the wall of money is just, she's saying effing enormous. Oh yeah. Uh, marriage wedding in reverse. Um, could never get through. Um, But she was looking like she was really smart and she knew something was up. Like, it's not like she accidentally stumbled. She found because she was looking for something. Yes, by a weapon with a mask on it. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing like an office drawer pulling out, but like a key turning, like a key, 
and then the drawer pulls out and then the drawer slams. Oh, someone saw you doing it. Oh, portal. Okay. Um, someone ran into you when you were taking it out. Witness in reverse. Yep. And you were a witness and you, the, you witnessed the stuff. Um, okay. Spent the last day of her life, August 4th, at her home. She was accompanied by various, accompanied at various times by publicist Patricia, Patricia Newcomb. She's saying to look up what her name means. Patricia Newcomb. So as I hit Google Britney Spears, there was an article up on like the homepage and it said something about complete isolation. I feel like I just saw that for a reason. Patricia name meaning. Latin origin meaning noble or patrician. And Newcomb. Nickname for arrival in a place. So noble arrival. Oh, oh, oh. Photographer Lawrence Schiller and psychiatrist Ralph Greenson. At Greenson's request, Murray stayed overnight. Oh, I get what you were saying. To keep Monroe company. At approximately 3 a.m. on Sunday, August 5th, Murray noticed that Monroe had locked herself in her bedroom and appeared unresponsive when she looked inside through a when. He, when she looked inside through a window. Um, top secret. Well, obviously that's why they were at the house, allegedly my opinion, right? Republican. Um, at approximately 3 a.m., Mary noticed that Monroe had locked herself in her bedroom and appeared unresponsive when she looked through her window. Mary alerted Greenson, who arrived soon after, entered the room by breaking a window and found Monroe dead. Her death was officially ruled a probable suicide by the LA coroner's office. Based on information about her overdosing and being prone to mood swings and suicidal ideation. Hmm. Ain't no mountain high enough. She was gonna find a way to get her voice Um, so you were given something to be made sick and then went in the bathroom, you were given something else and then that allowed them to give you the rest of it. Mm. She's saying it was all to make me look like a trashed junkie. Life insurance, yeah, to get your money. Yeah, to free what was trapped. Um, no evidence of foul play was found and accidental overdose was ruled out because of the large amount of barbiturates she had ingested. I have this like gut-wrenching feeling of just betrayal. Like 
like heartbreaking disappointment like just how could you type of thing thought you were on my side For several years heading into the 1960s, Marilyn had been dependent on amphetamines, barbiturates, and alcohol. She experienced various mental health problems that included depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, and chronic insomnia. Monroe had acquired a reputation for being difficult to work with, and she frequently delayed productions by being late to film sets in addition to having trouble remembering her lines. She also had an FBI file open since 1956 due to her problematic relationships with accused communists. It was all a setup. It wasn't her they were setting up though. It was putting someone in the position to be able to generate that much money and be this symbol for the world it was and she was picked because of they believed that she was an easy target and she ended up being a lot smarter than they anticipated her being and then they had a killer allegedly my opinion no facts here we don't do facts i'm sure whatever is on wikipedia is the truth um by 1960 Monroe's behavior was adversely affecting her career. For example, although she was the preferred choice of author Truman Capote to play Holly, Holly Goglady, I'm not saying that right, in the film adaptation of Breakfast at Tiffany's, Paramount declined to cast her due to fear that she would complicate the film's production. It was, it was all a setup. They had to, from the beginning, have pieces in place here and there so that later after her demise, everyone could come forward and be like, oh, this was the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Secrets out. Interesting. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Two tenants Manhattan, Upper East Side. She has no job and lives by socializing with wealthy men who take her to clubs and restaurants and give her money and expend some presents. She hopes to marry one of them, mocking her. Yeah. Because what she knew was how the... Oh, don't say that. Mm-hmm. Okie doke. Um... The two films Monroe completed in the 1960s, Let's Make Love and The Misfits, were both commercial features. During the filming of the latter, she had to spend a week detoxing in a hospital. Her third marriage to Arthur Miller also ended in divorce in January 1961. Instead of working, she spent a large part preoccupied with health problems and did not work on any new film projects. She received a world film favorite. Um, it's almost like she's saying that something about, because I just did a news in reverse reading um it's where i make predictions and something came out about the barbie movie and marilyn's making some kind of reference to that like she was supposed to be the fall of the perfect woman so that it could be like look even the perfect woman can't ever be perfect it's happening again with britney spears it's happening again with madonna um and it's like to push how the Barbie movie, the creator tells the Barbie, you don't have to be your blueprint. It's, she was the fall woman for that to be set up is what she's saying. End of the road. Where 
Where do you want me to go with that? Bloodline in reverse. Trying to alter people's DNA makeup. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's enough. Um, she had suffered from psychiatric disturbance for a long time. She experienced severe fears and frequent dep depressions, mood changes, abrupt and unpredictable disorganization, sleep disturbance. So basically, um, And they shot down claims that it was anything but a suicide. It was not only meant to generate money. She was a money generator for a certain group. But then also it was setting up the downfall of the perfect woman. Because the perfect woman had a fall over and over and over. The people I named. Yes. Um, I just had fall over and over. Um, oh, communication in reverse just caught my eye too. On the bottom of the deck. Something about altering people's DNA so that, um, um, something doesn't communicate properly within the body. Yeah, something doesn't work. It's like um, a stream of communication that there's a Wi-Fi signal that just over time, the more that the um, DNA gets diluted, I guess, it ruins that connection. Uh, yes, because that would be the switching of the... Okay, um, I think that's all I'm supposed to know from this article. Um, what was your soul lesson from this? She's saying right away she has two. There's two. Split the deck and it's the two that come up. The law of tithing. Expand your consciousness and all things will be added. Yeah, that's about what she found out. What she found out helped her see the bigger picture. The law of allowing. Stop trying to fix, change, or control anyone. What you allow will continue. She's like, I let certain things in and then it just snowballed um, before I was in over my head is what I'm hearing. One second. Where I was in over my head. School and law enforcement. I learned the hard way. Um, at the time of her death, Monroe was reported to have been in a depressed mood and been unkempt and uninterested in maintaining her appearance. No suicide note was found, but Littman stated this was not unusual because statistics showed that less than 40% of suicide victims leave notes. What do you want to say about that? Frozen. She said, I've been waiting a long time to say what I'm about to say, actually. Uh -huh. Please remember all this is alleged. My opinion, not fact. No facts here. Just opinions. She says, let me start off with this. You thought you could put out my fire, but it just got brighter. Because this is a theme today. I chose karma over justice and karma is now on its way. 
I had to get this message out first. Secrets out. Mm, um, the worst thing you did to me was my light. All I want it to do is be a light for the world and I want it to like be fun and have fun and do fun things and kind of set an example in a new way and you just couldn't let me just do that. It always had to be more, it had to be greed. Celebrity. Yes. Um, Printer. What about a printer? Printer. Printer. Oh, she was just a product. Nobody actually cared about her. Mm hmm. New World Order. Um, they just kept her really busy so that she wouldn't see what was going on. Is giving me like no time for an affair, no time for this, no time for that. Um, she's saying they didn't even let me have my favorite snacks. Like they took all my joy. And just as I say, they took all my joy. My son is walking up the steps. So be right back. I'm just gonna reshuffle the whole deck. Um, Oh, mm-hmm, mind control. Yeah, um, that's how they put people in the industry and keep them, you know, yes. Um, female in reverse, what's behind it? mind control and mental health oh my goodness okay um she said i told you i waited a while uh it was estimated she died between 8 30 and 10 30. early because they had to wait a little bit because it says based on the advanced state of rigor mortis at the time her body was discovered. Oh, they had to clean up stuff from the house. Um, drugs and poison in reverse. So allegedly my opinion. Um, So safe to say 7.30, corruption, yes, okay. Um, she's saying I wasn't depressed at the end, I wasn't depressed. I wasn't depressed and that was the problem because that's how they knew what they were giving me wasn't working because I wasn't taking it. Yes, thief. Um, in the food. Natural disaster in reverse, man-made disaster. And it looks like a mixer, like mixing a drink or something in my shakes. In my shakes. Yes. Um, hmm. Saying all I ever wanted to do was be normal and fun and like flirty and sexy and like also lead little girls to be more confident. Mm -hmm. But they didn't let me. 
She's like, I pinky promise, that's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. But I made a couple wrong choices and it put me down that slippery slope. Yes, tunnel. Um, and the last thing I wanna talk about is, and then I have nothing else to say. look up no it's not anything to look up what is it then um hold on let me shuffle oh legal proceedings accident legal proceedings oh they had to get you um under what's it called legally ordered psychiatric care yeah um, to take her out of the social, the public eye. She's saying they were close, but I was closer. Oh yeah, that's what she's saying. Um, crime of passion. She's saying it's annoying if you think about it. <laughs> it's annoying if you think about it. Oh, evil exposed. Yes, that's annoying. Um, she's going back to cards, legal proceedings. Uh, snakes in the grass, yes. Um, Basically, they just had to, had to shut her up, but she was too smart. Oh, yeah. And they had to have something on her. Um, but she's saying, look at what happened. Did I get justice? Mm -mm, because I chose karma. Yes, drama with a rope and shadow figure in the back. What is done in the dark will come to light. You don't think it will, but it will find a way to. Devil in verse, yes. Um, a white card. Sensitive, introvert, empath. Yeah, definitely her. Cancer, June, July. What was her? Gemini. So who's a Cancer? When did she pass? August 4th. Oh, June, July. Gotcha. Okay, one second. The cancer started in June, July. What happened in June, July? Oh, she discovered fraud. Uh-uh, she discovered someone was a fraud. Someone she couldn't get away from. A male, okay. <laughs> that was direct. Um, he was frauding her out of oh uh, uh, rights to her own body yeah um and she found out oh when she was under certain mind things someone was essay 
Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Allegedly, my opinion of facts, real information. Um, and that's when she was like, nope, mm -mm, no more. I can't allow this to happen. Yeah. Um, police found, she's guided me to this particular sentence, police found empty bottles of these medic medicines next to her bed. There were no signs of external wounds or bruises on the body. Yep, false flag in reverse. placed there obviously after the fact um she's like it's funny because as much as they took out of the house they brought that much in too mm-hmm because I, ha I had to look just like the worst ever she says mm hmm Operation Mockingbird, government control media in reverse. Yes. Um, she says, okay, now this is the last thing. You thought I wouldn't have a voice. Um, in our investigation, we have learned that Miss Monroe had often expressed wishes to give up, withdraw, or even to die. On more than one occasion in the past, she made an unaliving attempt using sedative drugs. Oh, the sedatives were when she was getting... Mm-hmm. I felt the wave of anger with that. Um, so this is what I believe happens on the other side, right? This is just a theory I have, my opinion. I believe that when someone passes away from something that is really wrong, they get a choice, and that is justice or karma. If they choose justice, it means that they're choosing still from the path of their ego because this is like after they kind of go through their life review it's like to see if it makes sense to them or not and if they choose just and this isn't to say that people who get justice are always the ones who choose that they can choose karma and still get justice on earth if that's what's meant to happen right but it but it's like just to see what they did choose right but i i in my opinion, I believe that if you choose karma because you're choosing that out of love so the other person learns a lesson that they need to learn from what they did and hurt you. So justice can still happen on that path, right? But if you choose justice, then it's like karma doesn't happen, right? Not in this instance for this occasion. Um, so that's kind of what I mean when I say they picked karma or they picked justice because with her she's like i didn't need earthly justice i saved it for all for karma because maybe there's something where you can like split it like if you have a hundred percent how much do you want to put this way how much do you want to put that way like you can do 50 50 kind of get justice maybe get justice for your family or something maybe you can do something like that i don't know but that's kind of how i envision it to be especially with the mediumship readings that i've been doing recently it seems like that's kind of what they're trying to tell me happens in a way obviously in a way that we can't understand that's like higher consciousness than us but something like that is what i'm envisioning and essentially what she's saying is i didn't need any justice obviously everyone diminished my whole aura and personality like you made me look a certain way that i it just wasn't even really how i was um, and especially in death, you mocked me. So I chose to keep all of that pain that I held and send it all karma's way. So it's, I had to choose one and that's what I chose. 
Yes, egotism. <laughs> um, she's saying because your plan didn't work to shut me up completely. Yes, dating. Um, about the connection to shutting me up. Um, about the connection to the type of substance and that the type of substance that took me out and the other substances that were in my body and what they're actually for. Yes, correct, collapse. Um, oh, I just had like a big release of air and realized it's the same thing from Idaho. It's the truth serum. It's like you, it, it makes your inside behavior come out. It, you tell on yourself in which ways you can be manipulated. Mm -hmm. Ain't no mountain high enough. I got the message across. That's what she's saying. Yes. Um, okay, I'm hearing that's all. Have a good day. Oh, wait. Let's end with, she says she wants to end a positive message. Um... When you are missing and needing me the most, cardinals fly around. Cardinals, one second. Oh. I looked up cardinal thinking cardinal and what it brought me to was cardinals, clergy of the church. It's also a new world songbird. Um, the male is partially or mostly red in color. You found something out really, really, really big, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not going to go there. Sorry. Um, mm, uh, let's end with a different deck. When you believe something, you assume you are right and you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Oh, she's calling some people out. Release the need to be right and it's two angels. She's saying you could have been right up here with me if you would have gotten in the way. Don't think you're better than me. That sounded like a direct message. Whoops. Let me pull a clarifier here. In reverse, doctor illness card, examining a wound, restrict it, limit it, war, mental illness, bad thoughts, a medical procedure, operation, a strong drink, feeling oppressed, a gang, a mob, a war. She's saying you could have been in my shoes or right here with me. It's just that I was the one that did it and you didn't. Allegedly, my opinion, no facts. No facts. Okay. Um... I don't know. I, I feel like this might be one you guys have a lot of questions about. I'm not sure. I, I'll be happy to do another one if it's what you want to see. Um, otherwise, it can be a standalone. I don't know. Unless she comes back and is like, hey, uh, we're going to do that again, then that's fine. Um, have a good day.